Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Screaming. Welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Into the Light intel. And in this video, we're going to cover all the glitches for the new Whisper mission. Now, if you're a solo player and you're trying to get this done on Legendary every single week, all these things are going to come in very handy. If you're in a group, they're also going to be worthwhile. We're going to cover skips as well as a time glitch, as well as boss glitches that will... I think save you a whole load of time, but you're actually not going to need that much time to save if you do these things properly. So hopefully if you enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel, and we do want every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. And of course, when we reach 100,000 subscribers, if we reach 100,000 subscribers, we'll be doing an Xbox Series X or a video card of equivalent value as a giveaway. First things I wanted to cover, these are sort of just weekly update information. If you're looking for that first Oracle this week, you can find them in the big red jumping room, as I like to call it, as opposed to the green jumping room, which we'll cover later. You can also use these skips around the side to avoid the area where the walls push you off. Almost all classes can do some sort of jump like this now or super jump, so I think it's worth mentioning. Once you get into the green room, if you're looking for the blights this week, they can be found in here in these three locations. One very obvious in front, one in the back towards where the oracle would be, or above where the oracle would be, and then one directly above you as you enter the room. Remember, you do not need to jump up through this room. If you're a little bit newer to the Whisper mission, you can just drop down through these catacombs underneath the stairs and make your way into the next area where you would actually find the next oracle by the big portal. But that's for another video. On to the boss glitch. Now, this, if done right, will also save you a whole bunch of time because you're not going to need any time. So if you're a solo player doing this on Legend, once you've fought through those first two rooms of ads and you get to the boss room, you're probably going to be fairly low on your time, and that's really going to be the thing that inhibits you from actually getting a completion. Well, fortunately, there is a way to not only glitch out the bosses and kill them a whole lot easier, at least the first three bosses, but also glitch out the time for the final boss so you won't actually need to rush. I think this is going to be the thing that's the most beneficial for solo legendary players. So to start off, when you enter the boss room and you have the three mini bosses sitting in their blights, don't shoot any of the squares that will release them. You can hit the banner flag and you're actually going to be able to hit the banner flag twice using this glitch. And then for the first boss, you can just make your way over to this little ledge underneath them on the left side and you can actually shoot them up through their blights so long as you're beneath them you can do damage to them i liked to use the whisper this was on a normal whisper mission but it'll work the same and the damage output will be about the same on the legendary one in any case once you've done that first uh, glitch for the first boss the time will actually already i believe have been glitched out Simply by killing any of these from underneath without releasing them from the blights glitches the time. So now you'll see the timer will count down to zero eventually, even when the ogre, the final boss, spawns in. And you'll still be able to complete the mission. Nothing will happen so long as you don't release any of them from their uh, blights by shooting any of the squares. Now, the second one, you can actually knock out of its blight, and it'll fall down for a short period of time. You can use a sword to kill them there. But for the next one, you can actually just shoot them in their actual blight themselves using a wither horde from the actual ledge. Now, anything that has a long uh, dot effect should work the same way. But note that you have to actually sort of land the shot on that one little spot on the blight directly underneath the boss there should be a little ball where you want to shoot but if you continually do damage there using solar grenades found worked really well for me or the wither horde you can actually just kill all three of the bosses 
in their blights using the Wither Horde, and you don't actually even need to shoot down from underneath them. So I found that to be a much easier method, and as you can see there, we didn't actually have any time um, left, but we had been working on this particular boss on Legendary, just testing out these methods for at least five minutes past the normal timer. So as soon as you kill that first mini boss in the Blight, the time will also glitch out. So like I said, for Legendary solo players, I think this is a win-win. Not only do you have a much easier way to kill the three mini bosses, but you also have an extended time period to kill the final boss. The other great thing about killing the three mini bosses in their blights is when you actually get to the final boss phase, you will have a whole lot less adds. So long as you really don't mess around with the blights that spawn in because those will spawn more adds, you should really just have a few cursed thrall or shadow thrall, excuse me, and the two wizards that you have to take out to do damage to the boss. But other than that, you're not going to have really anything else, none of the taken centurions or yellow bars or anything like that. So hopefully everybody finds this video helpful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. As I said before, I'm going to let this video just repeat a little bit just because I wanted people to see the exact method that we were using um, in a little bit more detail if you wanted to watch it without me talking in the background. As I said before, if you subscribe, any new subscribers will, of course, be entered into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. And if you've watched till this point in the video, you can leave a hashtag into the light or a hashtag final shape or a hashtag lightfall in the comments section down below for another entry into the next giveaway for this video. Or you can leave a hashtag uh, whisper in the comment section. And remember, I do that secret hashtag on all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you could always go back check out another video, and of course, do it again. Also wanted to give a big shout out to DJ Larry Plums. He forces me to say his name like that. And of course, my buddy Sinister for helping me with all these clips and always being some of my go-to gamer buddies. You can leave any one of their names. Also is a hashtag in the comment section down below for the future giveaway. Thanks so much for watching once more, and of course, I'm Wilhelm Scream. We will see you next time.